Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Psycho Gold Videos. I'm Psycho Gold, and we are getting one step closer to the end of this series of Overlord today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to check out Overlord Episode 12, the follow-up to the fantastic Episode 11 that we watched last time on the show. And I don't know how this episode is going to match that one. That episode was full of some crazy fights, um, some unexpected fights. However, I'm looking forward to Sebus finally meeting up with Zero. Um, that should be interesting. Uh, the only thing that annoys me slightly is I used to skip the intro video, but obviously I, I've watched it. And uh, obviously their, their fight is in the intro video, um, along with a number of other things that have happened in the show. So I'm curious whether or not that is their fight or if that's just like a representation of their fight. Because some things haven't happened how it shows in the... Uh, opening cinema in the opening credits but before we get that to that we've got to figure out what the hell happened at the end of the last episode where Momon turned up and was like so which one of you is my enemy then now like I said I still believe that this is all part of a plan that Heinz has but we'll see Three, two, one, sometimes click. I mean I can't really see how it's anything else especially since Demiurge is wearing that mask um, by oh the way, it's we'll actually carrying on straight with the last moment, one left so off brilliant without further ado let's get straight in Ah, I request that we party up. I was going to say, I don't think you have to worry, Evil Eye. <laughs> Oh, Jaldabaoth. Oh, okay, that's the name of the last episode, wasn't it? Because I couldn't pronounce it. So are they just making this up on the spot, or is this that second phase of the plan that... Uh, Sebus wasn't made aware of. Oh! <laughs> Damn, Ainz almost slipped up there. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose uh, he doesn't really have to hold back that much against Demiurge. <laughs> what? Our heart stopped beating? Oh. Why did she... Oh, okay. What? Chapter 12. Final battle of the disturbance. I still don't trust her. The way she's hiding her face. Oh, and Brain is there, right there with me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh dear. Yeah. This should be interesting. Yep, Brain versus Zero. Okay, this could be an interesting fight. Succulent already offered him that chance, dude. He ain't gonna join you. Especially since he knows Old Man Sebus is outside. <laughs> Horse stance! <laughs> oh, so that's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought the maid's outfit was part of his disguise. Oh. 
ching! Whoa! Okay. Ah, he's a monk. To be fair, his sword did well to hold up to it in that case. Wom wom. Ah, underhanded tactics for someone who fights underhanded. Oh, okay, so it's not poison. Oh, it's going to show him who the real one is. Completely nullifying his illusion class side of him. Beautiful. <gasps> that sound effect then was great. Oh, Climb does like using his feet and his, uh, his knees. I love the way he went to block it and he was like, no, nah, I'm not aiming for there, dude. <laughs> so what's he going to do? Try and force him out of the position so then he can strike him. Very nice. He's definitely got his confidence back. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, has he already found her? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, this could be interesting. I really don't think you are. How measured is this going to be from... Oh, hello. Oh, that's a cool idea. I love that. The tattoos he's got aren't just for show. They're like part of his power. Very nice. Whoa. Multicolored powers. <laughs> oh dear, he didn't even bother to block or dodge. He just took it. Did that go straight through his skull? That wasn't really much of a fight. <laughs> oh yes, yes. The slightest bit stronger. Just a tiny amount. Oh, Demi Urge and Momon are still going. Oh well, that's the end of 7 vs. 0 then. <laughs> Sebus really is channeling One Punch Man at the moment, isn't he? Why has Evil Eye suddenly become useless? I mean, I know she can't beat Demi Urge, but she was holding her own. Her voice has also changed. It's now to gone all high-pitched anime girly voice. You can't be falling for Momon unless something else is at work here. He's just a giant dude in armor. <laughs> oh yeah, she is. <laughs> okay, seriously, Evil Eye, make up your mind what you're going to sound like. What do you mean a man as handsome as him? You can't see him! He doesn't have a face, for starters. <laughs> Hundreds of years? Uh, how old is Evil Eye? Wait, what? Oh! So he doesn't know what Demiurge is planning. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm getting the distinct impression that this wasn't planned now. Oh, so he didn't even know who it was he was going to be fighting. Damn, that was some good improvisation on both him and Demiurge's parts. <laughs> oh dear, Nob's already figured it out. For the love of God, don't tell Albedo. <laughs> or Sheltiff, that matter. <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake, to be fair. But you both did it, so... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so good to hear his voice. I haven't heard it hardly at all this season. 
Oh, she ain't a child, dude. Apparently she's hundreds of years old. That was a very strong reaction. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's why you think, Momon. I think it's that she's worried that you'll meet the leader and be like, Damn, she pretty. Whereas Evil Eye wants the chance to try and flirt with you herself. Oh, credits. Okay, that was unexpected. Oh! Okay, so Climb can call in a favor from Sebus. That definitely will come in handy. Well, he's definitely engulfed some parts of the capital in fire from the looks of it. Very mystical looking fire, but looks more like a shiny light to be honest. So he's definitely using the situation to build up his reputation. She's uh, quite tactically working all this out, and she seems to have a, quite a good idea of how this would all happen if uh, she was the one in charge. <laughs> oh! Hey! Brain's going as well. <laughs> hey, they've got their own little party forming again. Oh! So, Climb actually could be more powerful next time around. That's interesting. Wow! This next episode could be interesting then, assuming that this is the end. Wait, this is sounding very sinister. <laughs> so it is all thought out by her. God damn. Yep, yeah, she looks crazy. Very, very crazy. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was episode 12. Definitely not quite episode 11, but still a good episode nonetheless. There were quite a lot of good moments in this episode. Obviously, Sebas beating Zero in one very well placed kick was quite a nice sight. Um, Momon having his little fake fight with Demiurge was quite entertaining even though obviously it wasn't real but everything that happened after that was a bit interesting like stating that it actually doesn't appear to be planned but it is kind of planned. I'm very confused as to what exactly is going on there but I still think it is all just a setup to allow Momon to get his reputation built up quicker. Um, Especially since now Evil Eye is obviously telling everyone that he managed to fight Demiurge, whereas Evil Eye was completely crushed by Demiurge's magic superiority. Yeah, all in all guys, this one was great. It had a lot of good uh, world building elements, and it set up a lot of stuff for the next episode, which obviously is the finale episode, so now I'm very much looking forward to watching that. Um, I'm curious what's uh, what happened to Sebus. I mean, I assume he's just taken to our back to Nezarek? to Nazarek and uh, you know he's just doing what he was told to do because they kind of showed everybody separately and then they were just suddenly all together um, getting their orders from the princess. Uh, I'm curious to see if that ring that Gazef gave Climb though is actually going to do anything or, or is it not going to really make any difference to Climb because seeing Climb actually have a little bit of power to go into fights would be kind of cool. I mean, he's not completely useless, but he's by no means a strong fighter, as we have established. As everyone has happily told him. Right, dudes. Normally, I would give you uh, more reviews, but I think I'm going to have to end this one a bit early. I'm not feeling too great today, so... As always, if you enjoyed that episode, be sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this episode. And be sure to check out the next one. So if you're new around here, don't forget to click that subscribe button. As always, dudes, I've been Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out.